Netflix's Tinder swindler Simon Lviv is being sued by the Diamond Air family that he was impersonating. According to a lawyer for the family, charges were filed Monday morning in Israel against Simon, saying the justice must be served for the malice that he brought to the Lviv name. If you're watching the documentary, then you'll know that Simon was accused already of pretending to be a member of the Lviv family in order to attract women on Tinder. Then he would allegedly scam these women out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. In a statement made to E! News, Chagat Lviv, who is the daughter of Lev Lviv and true heiress to her family fortune, said that there would be a multi-million dollar lawsuit in the works. This lawsuit aims to get Shaiman Hayut to face justice and get the sentence that he deserves. In the statement, she goes on to say, Shaiman Hayut is a fraud who stole our family's identity and has tried to exploit our good name to con victims out of millions of dollars. He has no relation to the Lviv family and has no affiliation with our company, LLD Diamonds. I am relieved that his real identity and actions have been globally exposed and hopefully this will bring an end to his unscrupulous actions. And the family's lawyer also noted that according to Israel law, only the state can file criminal charges but that being said, he has found an exception. If the case involves malice defamation like this one does, the victim is allowed to file private criminal charges and request for criminal punishment. Since he had taken the Lviv family name, the lawyer claims that Simon had immediately committed malice defamation and malice invasion of privacy. However, for them, this is just the very first step they will be taking in what will most certainly become an all-out legal war. On top of that, Simon will gain no sympathy from the public because the family intends on donating the money that they win in court to all the victims of his crimes. Upon learning of the lawsuit, a representative for Simon said. Simon believes the family is just trying to insert themselves in the narrative for publicity after the show's success. Simon also legally changed his name in 2015 and looks forward to this getting thrown out in court. Although I don't think that they are that concerned with the legality of his name change, it has more to do with him saying that he belongs to this family in particular. The lawsuit filed in Tel Aviv states that Simon has been making false representations as being the son of Lev Lviv and receiving numerous benefits as a result of that claim. The documents also say that Simon is responsible for defrauding, cheating, conning and hurting women, men, and businesses around the world because of his impersonations. The family also made sure to include that Photoshop picture that Simon often used as proof that he was in his family. The Lviv say that he had edited himself into the family pic and as per the lawsuit, he presented the fixed photo to women and men as proof of being a Lviv family member, thereby making a misrepresentation that he is a part of the family and did so to generate personal profit and mislead the public. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this though and while you do that, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled Warner Bros. Cancels Russian Release of the Batman. B. Bailey says, I'm questioning on whether they're doing this to look good or if it's simply because they will make no money by releasing it there anyway. I'm thinking it might be a bit of both, but let's just hope that they're also trying to force Putin to stop this war. Daniel Claus says, this just proves that Russia is going too far. I hope things get better soon. It certainly proves that no one is really standing behind Putin at all. And yes, hopefully things get better soon. Rhea says, well, this is good. That's definitely a step in the right direction. That's all the time that we have for today though, folks. So stay classy and I'll see you in the next one.